So blow drying techniques for long hair. What well, if you have fine hair and you want to give some fullness to it, you should actually dry your hair upside down and lift up the roots while you're drying your hair with your finger. Don't put a brush to your hair when your hair is super wet because it's a waste of time and it will damage your hair even more because you'll put more heat and longer on it. So when you blow dry your hair, also go with the hair, meaning don't over blow dry your hair on the other side because you'll get all those fuzzy, frizzy hair to come. So follow your hair the way it's going to go. Remember, your hair is going to go straight down the, the hair of the dryer will follow that. Pull on it with your hand, smooth it out with your finger as much as you can before you put, put a brush on it. The more you will dry your hair with your finger, the easier it will be later on with the brush. So don't be afraid to use your hand and go through your hair as much as possible. Now, not, that would not be enough to actually make your hair look very nice. So, you will need to take a round brush, depending on how much, uh, if you want movement or if you want your hair straight. It will depend on the size of the brush. The smaller size of the brush will give you more wave and also will actually lift up the roots a little bit more. So, always start at the bottom. So again, you have to make a clean, nice section. You will need to start here with your brush all the way at the roots. Start with the roots first and make your way down. Make sure the air of the dryer is facing downward so you don't actually bring the small little frizz up. Once the roots are done, it's pretty much 90% of that piece of hair that will be done. Keep the same tension. Once you get to the end, roll your brush. Make it nice and smooth. Take another section. Now if you want to give a little fullness to the roots, you will want to pick your hair up and put the air on the knee. So you give it a little lift, a little fullness. Don't forget that the dryer is hot. So if you want to do a little setting on, your dry, on, on the hair, you want to use a little bit of the cold hair button to actually cool it down. It's almost like a setting. Now for the front part, you will take it, bring it down towards the face. and give a slight movement. Remember, the most important, th important part of your hair is what's around your face. Most of the time, we all get frizzy or little fuzzy hair here. So that's when you need to work this a little bit more than the rest of it. What I mean by that is actually putting the brush here and going backwards. So you actually smooth all those little piece of hair here. Because that's what you're gonna see in the mirror, but that's also what you're gonna see, you know, in real life and what that's what people are gonna actually see when they first see. It. People are not gonna look what's in back, they're gonna see what's around your face. So if that doesn't look good, nothing else is going to look good. So that's uh, some blow drying techniques uh, that you can use at home.